As you know, we work with roofing contractors and between our client list, there's one roofer that when I spoke to recently, we've seen that in a few short years, three years roughly, in his time frame, he was able to build a company that's over $10 million. Well, not only was he able to build a company over 10 million, the profitability is pretty good. It's over 20% net margin take home at that scale. And on top of it, the person has a relatively good work-life balance. He still works eight, 10 hours a day, but it's not the owner doing everything. At that scale, he's just managing and overlooking the entire system as opposed to being in the system. So I wanted to go through a few things that stood out that this guy has been able to pull off, which makes him exceptional. Number one, early on, this guy went out and made a deal with the top salesman of another competitor, literally like down the road for him. Now, although this kind of sounds like a you know bad business practice, it's actually more common than most people would think. But the reason why what he did is especially smart is he didn't just go for any of their salespeople. He went for the absolute top person. He went and found out who's the very top person in that company, and he made them an offer that they couldn't refuse. What happened from there is a chain reaction. That top salesperson not only did sales, but overlooked the entire backend operation to a degree with them. Because generally what you'll find with the top salespeople in many companies that's been in the industry for a long time, they're generally not just doing only closing deals. They usually have enough experience in other facets of the business because they've been in it a lot of times longer than even you as the owner. So if you're able to poach that kind of person from a relatively big company, not only does he bring that experience onto your system, but then over time, he was able to bring all the other top guys literally everybody that guy brought on end up becoming one of the top salespeople till date in the company because top salespeople no other top salespeople number two this guy was relentless in tracking most roofers i see they don't even know what a crm is and the ones that do know what a crm is and went through the trouble of setting it up somewhat they don't use it at all this guy he made it from the get-go to be existing in his company you got to do a certain amount of things to be just having a job there so all the salespeople from the beginning to the end put in not only just their normal notes but exactly what happened whether they closed the deal or not what the customer said and other notes that took place that summarizes the entire sales conversation they had so when they could go back in time they could literally reach out to old customers knowing exactly what kind of mind frame they were at making it very high close rate even on the back-end products they put in place number three these guys niche down a lot of roofing contractors they say that oh yeah i can do everything i've been in the industry for 30 years you know i'm like a general contractor can do this that this that but then when you ask them how many jobs they're doing it's not even a lot of times a million or two million dollars a small company trying to do everything under the sun it doesn't work when this company chose hey we're going to do roof Roofing, window siding, it's just three things. You only need a few services to make a huge dent in the market. And if you choose that, it flows into your branding, your name of the company. You can put your name, what you do, right? Instead of just calling yourself ABC Construction or something generic like that, you can actually say, we're so-and-so roofing, we're Tiger Roofing, we're something roofing construction or roofing windows and siding. It makes it where not only is your product very specialized, people know you for those few things. So when they think they need that service they know who to go to because your name says it all number four growing their organic and their seo this is huge because especially when you're a small company doing one to three million dollars a lot of companies don't have word of mouth if you're a roofing company and you're doing a decent volume but you're not getting no referrals something is wrong customers are not happy with what they got from you a lot of companies that are not even doing any of the smart stuff have referrals they get a good amount of work from word of mouth in fact many companies nowadays do about three four jobs a week just from word of mouth they do a couple million a year with nothing much else other than word of mouth and maybe a little bit of door knocking when they're actually doing the job if people were to search for a roofer in your city and just like five ten miles around where you're located and they cannot find you in the top positions you're missing out on business that's pretty much like owed to you if you're a serious roofer in that area and you're nowhere to be seen you're missing out that business a good way to get extension of almost a similar level of quality very high quality leads is make sure whatever's not getting you the word of mouth is fix that first so you can get the word of mouth from every job every 10 jobs you get do you get a few jobs just from word of mouth and then getting a proper seo campaign going so that out of those 10 jobs you get two three word of mouth and another two three four jobs just from organic that 
catapults and takes a life of its own. Fifth and last thing, and this was actually one of the most smartest things that I've seen this company do. And this is actually uh, relevant to a few other big, big companies that went beyond 20, 30 million dollars that have this structure that absolutely crushes it. And that's basically growing with incentives. What this company did is when they went to new markets, right? They were already doing over 11 million dollars and they wanted to get to a 50 million dollar company. Instead of growing and opening up a new office and getting people under there and hiring new people and all all that kind of stuff what they did is they found a local small roofer that is already doing well that has a great reputation and they basically pushed him under their company they made it a structure where they set the incentives aligned where this person now would get a salary that's six figures and has the opportunity to make up to 250 to 300 thousand dollars per year this was absolutely gangbusters because this is one of the easiest ways we've seen any company scale in other markets without any of the headaches just proper incentives and that person is also happy because maybe he was not making that much money before now he has to be able to make guaranteed six figures up to a couple hundred thousand dollars a year which is what most roofers are happy with but you get to actually grow your company to massive numbers in new markets without having to do any of that hiring